Okay, I'm going to come right back to you. Interesting Harvard Harris poll done by Bill Clinton's old pollster on cancel culture. Yeah, very interesting. The, the, this poll was conducted uh, asking the question, using the Merriam-Webster dictionary definition of cancel culture, the practice or tendency of engaging in mass canceling as a way of expressing disapproval and exerting social pressure. Overwhelmingly, people have said they reject this notion. In large part, I thought the interesting number was among Democrats and Republicans, this sense that the cancel culture unfairly punishes past deeds or actions. It's no sense of redemption. And if you've done something wrong once, you're forever tarnished in that regard. Are, are we surprised that people are rejecting this? I think not. I talked to a sociologist friend of mine, and she said part of the challenge in, in the classrooms, the college students that she teaches, they feel like there's no room for discussion. You're afraid to say anything because of this notion. And even her adolescent son, who was part of the conversation, said, as a high school student, he just feels like there's no right answer anymore. You're just afraid to talk about any subject matter for fear that you become somehow subject to this cancer culture phenomena. It, Surely in American history, these sorts of cultural and sociological movements, it's like a pendulum. It swings too far one way and it swings back inevitably. But I think for Democrats that were counting on this as a battle cry going into the 22 election, this is pretty clear that the vast majority of people, both Democrats, Republicans, and even unaffiliated say, we're tired of this phenomenon. We don't want it anymore.